Hey y'all, today let's do uh, Mitchell 302 uh, spinning reel. I'm gonna break this down completely and uh, show you how to put it back together. Oh, almost completely. All right, so first I'm gonna take this, uh, this drag knob off by undoing this screw here. And we're gonna save the spool for last, I think. And I've already cleaned this reel up. And all we're gonna do is break it down and put it back together. All right, so let's take the handle off. On the handle, there's a washer here. So make sure you have that. And we're gonna open up the side plate so we can get the, uh, the components out of there. Let's start with taking the this off and on there there's a washer that I'm not going to remove but note that it's there and we can undo this nut like so and just pull it straight up this washer came from here make sure that's there as well Alright, so let's undo the side plate. We're going to take both of them off to start. On this side, there's a metal, uh, kind of a spring at the top. So I'll show that to you. And the screws on this side are all shorter than the screws on the on the handle side. All right, so under that top right is that spring there. So make sure you have that. And let's do the <coughs> the handle side now. Now it's best if you have this disengaged, the uh, the anti reverse. And I don't know if it's engaged or disengaged. So hold on one second. I'm squeezing that plate down. Okay, so let's disengage it. So let's pull that out like that. This comes up. That's what rides on that block there. And now to take this shaft out, let's remove that. I'll show you that in a sec. We're gonna undo these two screws here. There's one on this side and one on this side. I'm gonna actually take them all the way out so I can put them back in because I want to grease inside there. Uh, first I'm gonna remove this little pin that's right there on the pinion. And let's undo these two screws here. These act as a block for the uh, <clears throat> for the um, bearing, so it doesn't come up. Notice this one's longer than the uh, the short side, which kind of makes sense. Uh, I'm going to grease these now and put them back in. I'm not going to put them back in all the way. I'm just going to get them set 
back in the hole. Oops, too much. That's good enough. Okay, <coughs> so now we can undo the, the shaft by unscrewing this. Uh, this screw right here. slide that up you can pull that little block off that's right there so spring on this oh, I want to show you how to get that out sorry uh, there's a little metal plate there inside of this one there may or may not be there the way this came out is normally I would remove the bearing just to make it a little bit easier and it just kind of slides out like that you can remove this block by undoing those two C-clips. There's one there and one there. I'm not going to do that. And this plate came off the top just above the bearing. Alright, so let's put this part together. I'm sorry, let's do this uh, gear side first. Pull that out. Nothing on there, just one piece. And to take this off, just simply pull up, and that spring comes off like that. I'm going to grease a couple places here, kind of inside there where the shaft is going to go off the main gear, around there where the uh, dog sits, kind of around there. I'm not taking this off, kind of around that block a little bit. And I think that's all we're going to do there. Alright, so to stick this dog back on, you can sort of do it now. Take that pointed end or bent end, put on like, uh, like that through the hole. Then put that ring end around that post right there. I'm just going to set it on like this. I'm going to lift up. <clears throat> I'm going to kind of push it over as I tilt that dog slightly. Just like that. And then I'm going to push with both hands over and then kind of rotate that dog in place. Just like that. Uh, we can grease the main gear up. I'm only greasing the teeth on this side. Inside there. And also on that little post that sits on it. Grease that shaft a little bit as well. I'm not going to grease the uh, teeth for the dog. We can also add some grease inside here where the threads are for the uh, or where the handle is going to go. Like that. <coughs> now, where are we? Let's go ahead and grease this block up a little bit. Because that's going to ride up and down. If that little metal piece comes off, just put it back on. And I'm 
also got to add grease to where this is going to ride. So right here. That should be good. <coughs> we can also grease these pieces here as well. Also, I'm going to grease those, uh, those pins on there, like so. I'm going to do a little bit of haphazard kind of greasing here, so excuse the, uh, the jumping around. All right, <clears throat> now for the block and for the pinion gear, I add some grease there. Gotta make sure that's flat. I'm gonna do a little bit of grease on the shaft as well. You notice there's a little notch in this uh, shaft here. That's where it sits over the uh, the block. I think we can put this back together now. I think we're pretty much done. So you want to make sure that you have this kind of going in this way from the so the flat part of that shaft is facing the handle side. opinion excuse me all right so anyhow it's gonna look kind of like this here like that I do want to make sure I grease where the bearing is going to sit so it doesn't get rusted in there or corroded in there. Stick that through. Now I'm going to get my block on there. This is slides right down those two. Uh, those two grooves. Stick it all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna move it up a little bit. It kind of just goes over there like that. The screw is gonna go in from the back side. So let's find that and put that in. And you kind of gotta play with this a little bit to find the hole or the receiving hole on the block. Somewhere around there. All right, so that looks good so far. Yay. All 
All right, where were we? We're putting this back on, I think. All right, so let's start with the uh, the handle side. We'll put that on first, that piece on first. <coughs> the this piece is gonna sit inside those two holes right there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of grease inside there, even though there's grease on that post already. And it's gonna set it down like this. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. I wanna get this pinion past it, sorry. Kind of like that. Make sure that pinion is past it because once it's set, you're not going to be able to move that pinion or the bottom of the pinion up. Take the pin on that, on this uh, gear here, find the hole, just slide it over there to where it meets that plate. Kind of like that. Then all you have to do, not worry about getting that inside that hole can just stick this inside and line that plate up like so get our handle gently press against the plate and slowly turn the handle until you feel it set in place just like that and you can verify it worked because now you're cranking and everything is turning properly. Kind of properly. Nothing's set yet up here, so that's why. So now we can screw these in. I'm going to add some grease to these holes here. And remember on this side, the, the handle side, the screws are long. So those are the ones you'll be putting inside. <coughs> Alright, so now we can get to this side. Put that side cover on. Make sure you uh, don't forget that this plate right here. I'm going to add the grease to the holes here versus waiting until I get the plate on. That looks good enough and the way it's going to sit is like this let me show you the plate when you put this plate on make sure that that's flush or as flush as possible with the upper edge of this housing kind of like so if it rides too high it'll, it'll impede with the uh, <coughs> spinning of the uh, the rotor And on this side, the, sh the screws are short. All right, good. Now we can take our bearing and oil that. That goes in first, just like so. Make sure these aren't too far in. Wish they're not. Or they might have been, who knows. Set that down, get our plastic washer, put that on top. Now 
now we can screw these back in. I'm not going to put that pin in yet, the one that goes inside the pinion. I'm going to set that to the side and then we're going to work on the rotor. All right. Get those out of the way. So the rotor, the we have the uh, the counterweight here, and then we have the bail trip mechanism over here. I'm gonna unscrew this side first. These two screws on each side of the bail are um, are different, so you want to take note of that. That one doesn't have much of a ridge at the base, and this one does. Now the spring is set, so I want to keep my finger over this so it doesn't... Uh, fly somewhere. And if you notice, hope you guys can see it. This screw has more of a ridge at the bottom than this one does. This is the one that's going over the bale wire, or sorry, the bale spring. Let's pull that out. And now let's undo this trip. I'm gonna keep my finger down on top of the plate itself. And I'll show you why in a sec. There's a spring here that's pushing against that. So we don't want anything kind of flying around. This is all one piece. We're just gonna push that pin out like so. And the spring itself. I'm gonna undo these uh, these screws, but I'm not taking them out. I'm just gonna add some oil to them or some corrosion X and then screw them back in. That looks good. Add a little bit of grease to that plate or to that ridge right there. Some to that hole where that pin is going to go through. And some on this side as well where the pin is going to go through on the inside over here. So to get this pin back in, and this is one of the things on this reel that <coughs> can probably give you trouble uh, because the salt kind of gets built up inside there and it gets corroded. So you have to kind of clean that out. Uh, a good way of doing that is using these little micro tools. They fit kind of perfectly through there. And you can kind of use the edge of that flathead kind of scrape any corrosion off of that side and on this side and you can use your compressed air stick it right through and blow now the way this pin is going to sit is this notched end is going to be facing out towards the bail wire and the curved end will be going in so I'm going to set my spring in place just like that stick the 
pin through it. <coughs> and this is, I don't know if it's tricky or not, but it's, it'll look a little funky. Because what I want to do is, I want to leave that notched end out quite a bit so I can get that uh, plate back inside of it. So it's going to be sitting almost all the way to the end. Then we'll take this end right here and stick it inside there like that. And this might take a couple tries. I'm going to move that spring back a little bit so I can get inside the groove. Like so. Keep my finger over it. Now I want to move this, this entire assembly this way to get over that hole. So I'm just pushing onto that pin. Sometimes it goes through the hole right away. Sometimes it doesn't. You got to do it a couple times. And that's mainly the tricky part here. Because the spring gets kind of flexed. I need to straighten that up. Alright, that looks good. So now we're kind of just set in place. Keep my finger over everything so it doesn't go flying around. Make sure I have the right screw. And then cross our fingers. Fingers crossed didn't work. Alright, so that's set in place now. Alright, so to get the bail wire back on, we're going to get the spring attached. I'm adding oil to this, I'm sorry, grease to these holes where those screws are going to sit. Don't really need, you don't really need this around here. But we're doing it. All right, so we're gonna take our spring. The shorter end is gonna be facing inside here like this. Uh, you're gonna find that hole, stick that end through. I just stick it in and just kinda twist it until it drops in place like that. Then we're going to find this hole, put that pointed end through, just like, let's do it flat, just like this. I'm pushing down on that pin, and this is kind of a couple things at once. I'm pushing down on that pin, then I'm raising up to get over that lip right there, and now we're set. All we have to do is screw it in. Hopefully it doesn't slip out of place. And if it does, then we'll do it again. Remember the ridged screw is the one that's going through on this side. I can't feel my hand slipping. But we got it. So the way it's going to look is that pin is going to be resting just on the lip of the bail arm. Now we can take this part, stick it through the hole, and lock it in. And of course, after we're done, we're going to test it out and make sure it all works. Push it. Watch our fingers. And it works. 
essentially what's happening is I'm, as I'm turning that, that pin finds that groove right there, pops in place and locks it in. And this disengages it. Okay, I already greased that. I'm gonna add a little more grease there anyhow. And now we can put this on. So let's get these pieces that we left off in. The little pin is gonna go inside here. Inside that hole on the side of the pinion gear. fingers that might be a bad idea nah, it's not in there all right there we go make sure that's sitting uh, lateral with the uh, pinion gear so up and down so straight up and down just like that because this little notch is going to ride over it now we can put this on this sits over the uh the two screws that lock the pinion gear in place i'm hoping that it's not too high uh that locked the pinion gear in place and now we can just stick this on and you want to make sure that, again, that groove goes over that pin that's inside the pinion gear. And you'll notice seated when it drops all the way down. Now we can lock this up. sleeve on grease inside there and around here as well then just screw that in this has two notches on the side where you can tighten this down. Snug is good, you don't need to over tighten that. It feels a little bit better. All right, so let's do the, this pull. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, sorry guys. Let's pop these things out. I'll lay this out for you so you see how they sit. Don't need to add anything inside here. Uh, first washer goes in is a keyed washer. I'm sorry, an aired washer. And I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to put this on first. I'm going to stick the spool on and then show you how the drag sits. Greasing inside here because that's where that... Uh, uh, the spool is going to go over that sleeve right there. All right, so first is the aired washer. Next is the keyed. Make sure it goes over the groove so you can get it seated. And the reason I do it this way is because... Um, I can't do the other way. It keeps popping up on me. Next is an aired washer. Then you have a keyed again. Like so. Then you have this clicker gear or clicker washer. That's also keyed. 
that's the noise you're going to hear when the drag is going out. Then you have this washer. That pointed end faces down. That's what hits those um, teeth in the gear. This is keyed as well. So take note of that. Then you have the spacer here. It's kind of like the spring action for it. The last washer is a keyed washer. And when you get to this last washer, you want to make sure that that is sitting over the uh, the groove on the shaft. We're going to tighten this down and see to make sure we have it right. Looking good so far. And there's a click you hear when the drag goes out. Let me add a little bit of grease inside there. And then let's get that screwed in. So last is the handle. Let's take this off. We're not going to do a whole lot to the handle, but we're going to open this up. So we can do some grease inside there. Grease around there as well. Gonna screw that back in. Add some grease to the threads on this. Now we can get our washer back on and test this reel out. All right, so let's see how it sounds. Oops, we don't want to do that, I'm sorry. Test the bill out, the bill works. We know the drag works. All right, so that's how you put together Mitchell 302. Uh, guys, oh, let me wipe this as well. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe, that like button, if you like the video. If you appreciated the video, uh, and also tell your friends about the channel. All right, I'll see you guys next time.